G'day folks. Well, I thought I'd do a bit of a disassembly video tonight. Uh, I know I've already dismantled a BFD before, but now I know a little bit more about how they work. I can explain a bit more about what component is what. Uh, obviously this is the inverter board. Uh, you also have your line in, which is alternating current, three phase, uh, probably multiple voltages, but in Australia's case it's usually 415 volts. Live 1, 2 and 3 plus ground. And these are the outputs to the motor. They go through these little current transformers here, which work off the choke coils down the bottom. Now, well, that's actually the line out there. It comes through the choke coil, live 1, 2 and 3, as variable voltage, variable frequency power. Uh, up here is feed for the uh, three-phase rectifier, which is why I grabbed these things. I've got a Semicron SKD31-12. It's a uh, three-phase DC rectifier. Three phases in, single phase DC out, which goes into the DC card here. It's got a noise filter or something by the look of it. A variety of capacitors. S twenty K. Ceramic cap. Or no, it says R, maybe resistor. I don't know what it says R. There's the big DC caps. 330 microfarad, 385 volts DC. Obviously a choke coil. And out of here it goes back up to the inverter board here. It's processed and then fed into the IGBT module, which is in there. It's an integrated gate bipolar transistor, IGBT. So you have U, V and W, which are your three phases. And then it comes out through these things here, through the choke coils. You have U, V and W. Probably in the wrong order now, but they come off there. And that speeds straight out. Back up here through the current transformers. So that the VFD knows how much current the motor's drawing. And out to the motor. Uh, obviously there's a microprocessor or PC type component which sits on top. has the LED display panel. I don't currently have one of them to show you, but that's just a control and programming side of things. This is the actual inverter and uh, main power control board, but the computer control board is missing from this one. I just grabbed it for bits. And this is a Danfoss VLT drive, by the way. VLT type 3002. 380 to 415 volts, made in Denmark little drive, not very big. Likewise there's this smaller one here. And say what that one is. And a slightly bigger one. Of course, some of you remember that one there. That was a very big VFD. It's the size of a small fridge. <laughs> Weighs about, I don't know, 400 kilos. Or it did when it had everything in it. Now, I think this one can drive roughly I don't know, 5 kilowatt motor, or thereabouts. Uh, not 100% sure, I'm sure if I looked up the model number it would tell me. The one out there is maybe 10 kilowatts for the big one. And that one there was, I think, 65 kilowatts, or more. Maybe nearly 100 horsepower. Big cables in it, I know that much. This is a little baby VFD. Again, it's missing its digital control board and programming board, but the rest of it seems to be there. It's a VLT 3003 or 5003 PT5B20S TR3D LF00A00. Part of that's the model number and part of it's probably serial number. Oh, there's the serial number. Uh, what is it? 380, 380 to 500 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, 3.8 amps input. So it's pretty small, maybe couple of kilowatts. Uh, the output 0 to 100 hertz, I mean 1000 hertz, 1 megahertz maximum uh, frequency output, 4.1 amps, 3.1 kVA. So it's a, only a little baby thing. We'll 
pull the covers off and just see what's inside it. This big one's very much the same, just larger. It's been raining outside so it's soaking wet at the moment. But it's uh, all there, apart from the digital board. That's AC in, I think. Oh no, control, remote. Mains contactor. That cat's had something dropped on it. Smash the discharge resistor. So that one's no good, but that one is okay by the looks of it. There are 2200 microfarads, 385 volt DC cap. Pretty serious stuff. Locking tabs on. It's all trash really. CTs maybe keep if they're wa not water affected. And I can get the control board out and see what's underneath it. Now, well, they're the IGBT bricks, little Toshiba items. These great things are actually capacitors. They're a 1 microfarad, 1000 volt capacitor. Pretty good. There's another one. Combined three microfarads at 1,000 volts. There's one on the uh, rectifier as well. Look a bit bare now. The heat sinks are segmented too. You can take out the screws along the centre and they all come apart. Same with these side plates. I'm keeping this one here so that I can heat sink my uh, bridge rectifier to do it again. I'll just take the side plate off and keep the heat sink piece. That one there is just a nice big centre one. Good scrap alley. You get heaps of them like that. That's all for now and thanks for watching.